Hello, YouTubers. I've had quite the interesting time setting up this 30-gallon uh, tank, 29-gallon actually, and uh, went through a lot to do it. Uh, what I mean by that is I had another tank and I set it up and it was bowing from the front to back a little over a quarter of an inch. So I didn't want to chance it and leave it up even overnight. So I had to run to Walmart and buy another tank. And I switched everything over including the live rock and the crushed coral with all the uh, bacteria that came with it over into the other tank, filled it up, um, had about 15 cups of salt in the original water but I had to dump out about five gallons of water uh, before I went and bought some buckets to put the rest of the water in because I didn't want to waste all that water. So I got the buckets and I switched everything over to the new aquarium. Uh, put the heater in, put the jet on, and uh, uh, started filtering. And because I had the crushed coral and the uh, uh, bacteria, liquid bacteria mixed with it, in a sealed bag from the fish store. I forget what it was called. Um, it was about $32 for the bag. It cycled faster without any fish or anything. Um, so after I did the transfer into this tank, went uh, about two days, started seeing a little bit of algae growth. You can see toward the back there, some green, a little bit of dusting up on the black, uh, the jet and then on the tube there you can see some green and then of course on the live rock um, I did buy the piece of live rock I bought a piece of dry rock today and put in there and after all of that I took my water in today to have it sampled because I I don't have a tester yet that's in the mail and um, they were checking it and said that uh, they asked me how long I had it set up and I said about two days and they were pretty sure that um, or she was sure that it wouldn't wouldn't be cycled yet and sure enough had a little bit of ammonia in there a slight trace of pneumonia, uh, ammonia pneumonia and uh, zero nitrates nitrites um, pH is just right temperature is just right at 78 so everything was going good after two days so I went and got me a cleanup crew, and the cleanup crew is uh, busy right now eating away at the algae. There's one on the live rock, and actually there's two. There's one back there. There's one right here. One back there, one right there. And I've got these snails that I've got here also. Um, One's attached to the other one. I think he thinks he found a good eating source, which is the back of this other snail. But he can't move anywhere. He came almost all the way out of it a little bit ago. And he can't go anywhere because of the weight that other that other snail that's on his back. I bet he'd give anything to get that thing off of him. But I'll probably leave the light on here. I'll probably run it about 8 to 10 hours a day and then run the blue light on the off times. But what I plan on doing is getting a couple of clowns, anemone uh, for the clowns, and uh, maybe a tang. They have a uh, light uh, powder brown tang that is not aggressive at all. It won't bother any of the other fish, and it's much, much, much cheaper than the regular tangs. So... Um, That'll do that. I'll leave my cleaners. Mine end up with a shrimp. I'm not sure. Um, for a cleaner, they, they make a tank look really awesome. And then probably some corals um, as I as the tank continues to cycle and continues to grow all the good bacteria and everything. Now I might say that uh, the reason this cycled so fast was because I have a canister that filters a thousand liters per hour and that's this canister here it is a sun sun a lot of people don't have good things to say about it but I have no problems with it um, 
18 watts, 1,000 liters per hour. So it's a, it says AQ302A. It's actually an HW302. Um, I don't know why they, that's the item number, the AQ. And I did some research and found out it's actually the HW, which is a Sun Sun. They may have other names, other brands from them. These hoses are actually green. They're not clear. They never were clear. Um, so I cleaned those out real good. And in here, all I have is the ceramic beads on the bottom. And then I've got the uh, uh, bio balls, the plastic bio balls, three quarter inch to an inch bio balls. I think the three quarter. And then the top tray is, it had charcoal in it, but I took the charcoal out and put some the substrate that's in the bottom of my tank here. I put that in there in place of the charcoal. So about once a week, I'll um, rinse that out, put it back in. And I did use tap water along with the uh, crushed coral and uh, the bacteria mix. Um, had no problem whatsoever, so we must have pretty good tap water. Um, didn't have to treat the water, do anything special. Um, but this filter here is definitely doing the job uh, filtering this 30 gallon or 29 gallon tank out. So it's doing really well. On the top, I have the light strip, the LED light strip that uh, is so popular nowadays. And it's got the daylight, of course, the off position, and then there's the uh, blue, which is the night. And they all, both positions work really well, um, bringing out the color and stuff in there. But yeah, I just wanted to share that and um, show you a little bit about what I've got going on, and I hope to do some updates and, and keep you posted along the way as well. So until next time, this is February the, I believe it's the 11th, 12th, probably the 12th of 2018. Till next time, see ya.